Hey guys, welcome back to the channel. Welcome back to the garage. Um, today we'll be discussing uh, some headlight upgrades or some light bulbs upgrade. Uh, pretty much, I'll show you guys one of the best options that I believe to be out there on Amazon. Uh, if you're considering upgrading from halogen bulb to uh, LED bulb, um, I mean, price-wise, quality-wise longevity wise and installation wise I mean you, you just can't beat it in my opinion so if you're interested by something like that just buckle up let's go hey hey but don't forget forget to like subscribe and uh, yeah let's go if you have a 13 plus uh, Taurus um, interceptor or show that's the housing you're looking at um, you can check by looking from the bottom of the car uh, to see what kind of bulb you got pretty much if you don't have a ballast down there then you do have an halogen bulb if you have a ballast on there then you have a d3s bulb which is totally different and you got to make sure uh, you order the right part um, after removing the cover here that's pretty much the connector you get you just disconnect it after twisting the bulb off and you'll be golden in a 2010 2012 type of bulb it's also the same thing the ballast sits at the bottom if there's no ballast and there's no holes um, then you're good to go because if you do have a ballast there's gonna be a hole as well uh, that's allowing you to route the wire inside of the housing uh, and it's all sealed up so if you don't have any of those you're also golden you go ahead and you can remove the cover and you can see your bulb in there you twist it off counterclockwise and you can disconnect the bulb and you'll be good to go now worst case scenario if you have a ballast on the bottom, like this guy right here, uh, which was a premium OEM um, kind of headlight, then you would not want to follow the video uh, because the part is not going to apply for you. I'm going to make another video um, for people that have the HIDs, uh, OEM HIDs, and we'll get it to work. But pretty much, the bulb on the back, as you can see, it's a massive bulb. Those uh, D3Ss. A massive they're also expensive so uh, if that's what you got don't worry about it uh, we'll get another video coming up for you if you don't then you might want to go ahead and keep on watching uh, pretty much you know bulbs from them uh, this is kind of what you get the box looks okay uh, it's right properly you have the model that you order on the back so if you've ordered the wrong model you might want to make sure you check first before you rip the plastic because sometimes when you rip the plastic off they'll give you grief uh, when it comes to return so double check and make sure they have marked the uh, one that you actually ordered uh, and make sure that's the one that matches with your car I'm gonna put a link uh, in the description on some site where you can go and double check on that but uh, usually the manufacturer tells you on the back of the bulb that you're taking off uh, it should tell you exactly um, what you got so in our case uh, this is what we're replacing the Sylvana so you can see the type of bulb right there uh, it's 9005 that's pretty much the type there you go so make sure you have the right type and this is 9005 so we golden um, um, I'm gonna try to do this with one hand so you might want to bear with me here um, so <clears throat> there's this big claim that they have right here it says 300 percent brighter um, I spoke to a couple of the guys there uh, and they said that that's pretty much 300 percent brighter than the OEM light that you have if you have an allergen I don't think it applies to um, any other light that you have if you have LEDs or if you have HIDs on there uh, so that's pretty much an allergen comparison um, also on the side you can see they said it has a 12,000 rpm fan uh, it's canvas ready uh, and it's an easy install which we're about to find out okay so it's pretty much that uh, inside you have the nice booklet um, it tells you what you got and, um, the code if you want to register for an extra year warranty which I'll definitely recommend doing uh, it's free anyway so um, go ahead and do that right off the bat uh, you can also get a website and follow the instructions there to do that um, pretty much tells you how to install it how to lock it and everything like that um, 
just to make sure again that's the temperature 6500 um, which is white it's kind of closer to a bluish but uh, it's white also on the box you kind of have that uh, description on the side of the box as well uh, you have zip ties and you have this double-sided tape uh, paddings that might come in handy when you're installing the it looks box. pretty clean uh, I would admit I have another set that I've reviewed before that's also good that's the one I have on the on the expedition right there so pretty much um, like other manufacturers um, you can see the type of bulb that you get there's a fan on the back um, it's an enclosed housing so it's a little tricky how how good the fan works um, but you have an LED on that side and you have an LED on this side um, the light also comes attached with this module here um, which kind of acts like a ballast and manages the canvas um, so I was told so it's pretty much that that's where you get your little tape and then you stick it on the back and it doesn't work you try to switch the plug and you should be golden now this bulb can go on the passenger or the driver side it's not marked uh, as in driver specific or uh, passenger specific uh, per se but also one thing you have to keep in mind is if you gotta look at the little tab here it's gonna let you know because you have a spot for it on your connector on the car um, but that's pretty much it I'll go ahead and uh, I'll install it and we'll take a look at it at night. We'll do it before and after and we'll do a um, low beam and high beam. But that's pretty much what you get in the box and you should be good to go. Alright guys, so that was the video for the headlight. Um, I don't think I forgot anything. I mean, I didn't show you guys how to install it because like I said, believe me 100%, it is plug and play and you don't have to do any modification if you do have um, a 2013 uh, plus, meaning 2013 to 2019 Ford Taurus uh, or Ford Police Interceptor. Or for Tory Show for that matter. You shouldn't have any problem getting that done. So um, let me know if you have any other questions. Don't forget to hit that link in the description to go ahead and get you one. Uh, I mean, for the price, you can't beat it. For the warranty, you cannot beat it. Um, but yeah, guys, that's uh, it's definitely something that I recommend. Um, got some more videos coming up on some other upgrades. Uh, I want to thank you guys for liking and subscribing. Uh, let's keep on growing the channel. And I'll see you guys in the next video. Everybody be blessed. Cheers.